Hi guys, thanks for joining me. I am going to be doing a video today. We're going to be talking about um, some gorgeous skincare products that I got from Tickled Pink Airbrush Makeup. And I was so excited. Uh, I had mentioned in a video before that um, they created skincare products because I love the fact that they create airbrush makeup products that and skincare products that, that work together. Because the airbrush makeup I'm using is water-based, if you use products, skincare, or other makeup products that are oil-based, it can make the skin peel so that the makeup doesn't sit. And so what happens is you get a hot mess on the face and people think it's the airbrush makeup and it's not. You have to kind of use products that not only work for your skin, but will work with the airbrush makeup so you get the flawless finish. And you don't have to use a lot of product. Um, and one of my struggles is, you know, I can get really busy and so I don't have time to do a lot of makeup. But at the same time, I wear the makeup because this is my business. I also love it. And I have discoloration and acne scars, and I want to cover it. And I love that. So sometimes I'm up at 3 a.m. catching a plane, or I'm working, um, and I'm up at 5 a.m. And uh, I feel you're the, you are your best sales tool, as well as I feel good. And when, so there was a time in my life where I had nothing going on, and I had to figure out what my purpose was and I got up every day and did my hair and makeup and that made me feel great it made me feel ready for the day and it wasn't about being the most beautiful girl in the room what it was about was it was for me to feel groomed and accomplished and ready and I don't know how that how else to explain it anyway so back to the skincare tickled pink airbrush makeup creates skincare and they were nice enough to gift me with some beautiful products. I had gone down to Oregon State Fair where they were doing a booth and they had a whole setup. It was beautiful um, and they um, were talking about the product. They were doing demos. They do it twice a year, once at the Oregon State Fair in August and then once they'll do it in November and that would be a great time. They go up to Portland, I believe, and they do a um, few days up there where they demo the product, um, you can try it, um, you can see everything in person and that's great because it's always great to see your makeup and your colors um, and test them out and see what works for you. And a lot of the reason why I do these videos is to eliminate a lot of the guesswork because I struggled with it. Um, and then skincare is also a lot of guesswork because you need to find what works for you, but you also don't want to spend a ton of money on makeup or skincare and next thing you know you've wasted so much money you have all these products sitting at home and you just feel like a fool and it shouldn't be like that so I'm here to help <laughs> anyway they gave me some gorgeous products and I struggle with my own skin from discoloration acne aging everything so um, I just know how to do the airbrush makeup and blend everything out and I go on with my day so I it's a lot of trial and error and so I'm here to share some tips but the skincare um, I had the great pleasure of trying out the Walnut Body Polish. So this was for my whole body. And it's not for your face, but this is really nice stuff. I used it twice um, because I wanted to know what it was really like. You can see it's like a powder. So you just scoop the powder. You can even just take the lid, scoop the powder on that when you're in the shower. And you put it all over your body like an exfoliator and it's amazing. Um, my skin is so soft and I could feel it um, in a good way, like the grit, and so I could rub through my skin and no weird odors, no weird nothing. Um, it was just a beautiful, like, organic, they are organic water-based uh, makeup and their skincare, it very much uh, takes into account environmental things, so I love that. So I do recommend this Walnut Body Polish. You can get it on their website. They are also on Amazon. I'm not sure if this product is, but if it is, I will link it in my store. I've uh, Every product that I use in all the videos, I try to find it on Amazon and link it in the store so it's easy for you to find. Uh, so I've also went ahead and tried their um, Vitamin C uh, Facial Serum and their Vitamin C toner. 
that said, I'm trying to get out of my mouth. Anyway, so the vitamin C stuff was great. <clears throat> I did a little post on my Facebook stories about what the vitamin C was for. It fights free radicals. Um, I feel the, the vitamin C would be great for somebody who's older. I felt like the serum was a heavier serum and it was thicker. I felt like for me it was a little too thick, but I think it'd be perfect for someone with very dry skin and like it just freshens everything up and good makeup starts with great skincare so if you can get your skin in order you do less work with the makeup you buy less you spend less on products and then when you do use extra makeup it's for fun and that's what it should be about so you're not hiding things but you're just playing so anyway the vitamin C serum and um, toner were gorgeous um, they have a yellow orange look to them um, and so I loved being able to it's kind of like kind of like that color. Um, do I have it? I don't have it on me. Anyway, I have a whole bunch of different products here that I'm going to show you. But uh, And then, so I did that, but before I did that, I was on an orange kick, I think because it's fall, and I love orange, and I just did my nails in orange by Chanel. Anyway, um, I did a pumpkin mask. Yay! And I did a little thing on Instagram on that, too. And you can see, it's gorgeous, no weird smell. It's all natural products. Um, a little of this, you know, use your judgment. And I left it on, and I was actually dyeing my hair at the same time when I was using this, so I just left it on for like 40 minutes. I don't know if I was supposed to, but it felt great, nothing weird. I felt a little tingling, so I like that. Um, I had cleaned my face with the uh, vitamin C toner first, and then I put this on. I did wash my face, then tone it, then put the mask on. I just wanted a little treat. And it was like this little treat in a little jar, and it tied in with fall pumpkin mask. And uh, if I find the picture, I will put it in here of the mask. It's just a, like a thin, lightweight pumpkin mask made out of pumpkin and some other products. And so that was great. And then washed that off, did the walnut body scrub. It was my own little personal spa treatment. It was my own little fun day. And that's what I love about getting these products. Uh, it was kind of, you can do this at home. You don't have to go to a spa for a quarter of the cost. And then another really fun little product, and I don't even know how to use this. It is a lip pumice, okay? And it comes in like a lipstick case, which I've never seen before. So I, while I was doing all this stuff, put it on my lips, and I thought, well, if it's a pumice, it's meant to exfoliate. So I just rubbed them lightly, and it did. So I thought that was great. So it's a little pumice that you could carry, throw in your purse if your lips are dried out. And I know fall's coming, and that's when it happens, dried out lips, and just, you know, uh, exfoliate them and you can do this at night you can carry it in your purse do it on your lunch like if you're you know running around and just haven't had time and then apply your lipstick because it shows especially shows in the photos and I get a lot of ladies in with dry dry lips they're working they're doing stuff so this will be great to use in the shoots just apply that let them rub their lips a little bit and you can use this every day throw it in your purse another gorgeous fun product um, and then of course, uh, after I was done all that, I moisturized with my Tickle Pink moisturizer. I put this in my airbrush gun and just sprayed. And you need very little. And I, that surprised me because I usually use a lot of moisturizer. But I used like a pea sized amount, maybe two drops, one drop, and I sprayed and I was hydrated. Um, the only sad thing is because of the bottle, when I was traveling, it came open in my case and spilled half the bottle out whatever I'll buy some more um, but the moisturizer was great very lightweight and um, that was fun another gorgeous little product for a little self-care they gave me this beautiful brow and lash um, rejuvenator and so what it does is you can it's like an, a little bit of an oil and there's a few different oils mixed in it and I'm always very weary of using any kind of oils on my skin because I break out so easy and the pores clog and then it turns into a lump and it's just a hot mess but this is for the eyebrows and eyelashes to rejuvenate and help them stimulate growth so I'm gonna be using this over the next six to eight weeks to see if I see a difference I started two days ago so obviously you got to give it time it's not gonna be instant but the idea is, is I'm trying to grow in my eyebrows. I've been butchered with bad eyebrow people, threading, waxing, everything, and now I'm done. So I'm fully growing them in. I use the airbrush makeup stencil to shape them, and then I just let the other hairs show. Uh, it's not a big deal. It looks great. Your eyebrows don't have to be super skinny and perfect. It's a new day, okay? Anyway, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, but this I'm excited about. Grow in my lashes, thicken them up. Um, I love wearing strip lashes. They haven't damaged my eyes. Contrary to popular belief, they don't. 
And if they are, you're ripping them off and doing it wrong. I use my duo glue. I put on strip lashes every day, even to the gym. I love it. I have super natural lashes to super dramatic for a Friday when I'm feeling like I want something fun. And I play. I let myself have fun with it. I enjoy it. I am not one to do eyelash extensions because I love to wear the strips and move them around and wear different looks. That's what I do. If you're super busy, those eyelash extensions are a blessing and it's all about finding the right person. I've had girls come in and I've done their makeup and their eyelashes are so gorgeous and they don't have to do anything. All they have to do is go for that fill every two weeks. So it's up to you. I'm going to attempt to grow mine a little longer and thicker. My eyebrows definitely have gaps and I've been thinking about doing micro pigmentation or whatever. Not pigmentation? I don't know what it's called where they kind of blend them in but once again it's finding that good person and if you just heard my hair story from the last video you know I'm not having much luck with finding good people so when I do not only do I post it here and talk about it I recommend them out because uh, good work deserves to be celebrated but in the meantime I'm gonna grow in what I can and then I'll see in about six to eight weeks where I'm at I'll let you know um, so far I like the product it's a lightweight oil I haven't broken out from it which is huge for me. So I just brush on every night and on my lashes just do a little bit. Deal done after I do these gorgeous uh, masks and I have my vitamin C serum and my toner. And that was my little routine for the last few days. I wanted to try these out and give you an honest review on how they work, what works for me and what may work for you may not work for me and vice versa so that's why I talk about dryness and oiliness and skin type for me the vitamin C serum is a little heavier but for someone who has very dry skin lots of redness it'd be perfect so um, I'll let you know I also have a few other serums that I'm trying out I'm I got the sweet with the sweet dreams in Arlene and this is the one that imitates Botox and is perfect between the lines in the forehead and in the brows and around the lips so this one I use at night and I just started using that and so far so good so I'll let you know how that works I like to give all my products six to eight weeks to be honest and to also I think you have to you have to give them a good run before you go this doesn't work and a lot of people do that and they throw the product away or they try to return it or it sits in their drawer so to help you avoid that I'm doing little reviews and I've picked uh, Tickle Pink Airbrush because they've been kind enough to send me the product but my first video where I talked about their stuff I was so intrigued because it were, it's organic, because it's water-based, their foundations and their makeup, I wanted to see how that works because it's a different consistency than, say, some of the other art companies. So it depends what it's for and, and, and how it works. So anyway, that was my review. I hope that helped you. If you have questions about skincare, about uh, the Tickled Pink products, they do have a phone number where you can talk to an esthetician and get detailed information if you're not sure because ordering on the web is always crazy. You can order their products through Amazon and still call their website and talk to them. Do either or. I mean, use use whatever works for you, like the best of both worlds. Um, and I want to thank them. I had a great time coming down to the fair and um, I'm so flattered that you gave me some products because I buy everything. I'm a makeup enthusiast, so that is huge for me. It really helps me out. And I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I know I enjoyed coming down there as a guest artist. And for all of you out there, um, I hope some of this information helped you. And I know it's a lot. They do have a pamphlet booklet that explains a lot of stuff and like I said they have an esthetician you can call you can also text pictures of your skin of your face and get a consult via text who doesn't want that so try it um, the owners are more than helpful to help you out um, and they have some great products that you should look into um, like I said um, the skincare I'm really intrigued with and is working great in line with the, the makeup um, some of the makeup doesn't work for me, some of the skincare doesn't work for me, but it may work for you. So you may want to tune back to these videos to find out what I have to say. And if you do click that bell for notifications on my latest videos, I do videos on airbrush makeup, the skincare, as well as my photography. I'm a glamour photographer and I'm inspired by all these products and I bring them in the session to help my clients look their best. And this is also about helping you sparkle inside and out from the photography to the makeup to the hair. I do hair videos too. So if you don't know me, click that bell, get the latest notifications on what I do. Don't miss a video. I try to put out one video a week minimum sometimes I put out more and as well like share and subscribe and I'm here to answer any questions you may have so you can also comment down below and I look at all of them thanks again and thanks for joining me all right bye guys